Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome to my shop. I love axes. <laughs> I have got to put better locks in this place. <laughs> uh, well, to be honest, uh, Chris uh, swung by the shop this last weekend and we actually had a good bit of time in the shop. Um, shot two videos for his channel um, and a couple little things for this. So um, he actually just put out a video with a uh, chop with Chris, which is an interview with me in the shop. And I really went into a lot of detail in things that are around the shop that I really haven't shown anymore. What are you know these bottles up here and some of the projects I've worked on and it was a, 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 lot, a lot of fun and so that video is actually up and I'll leave a link to that in the description it's probably up in the cards here too so this last week I had uh, two videos that came out number one I did this little small sculptural carving uh, it was kind of a, a fun experiment for me something I haven't played with before and so I wanted to show more about the learning process of carving than the actual how-to of carving um, so it was a, a fun one I'm maybe doing quite a bit more carving in the future here the second video this last week was how to choose a hand plane so you know you have this collection of hand planes how do you pick which one you want to use for a specific project and uh, that, that's a question that I've gotten a lot and it kind of went through some of the pros and cons of length and, and mouth size and what the different widths are. And uh, so that was a, a good informative video and actually been doing really well. So you can go check out that as well. So this next week, I'm going to be doing the first video on dovetails. And I've been working on uh, dovetails for the dresser. And I want to do a video about how to make bad dovetails. Um, we see a lot of videos about the perfection of dovetails and making them exact. And I want to show that you know they don't have to be exact. They can just be thrown together and you don't have to be perfect with them. They're dovetails. They're a functional joint. And most of the time they're not even seen. They're in the back of a dresser. Oh well. Um, so I want to kind of go through what I do to quickly whip out dovetails. Also I'm going to be doing a video sometime in the future about mass producing dovetails at least with hand tools. So I'm actually going to be doing, you know, how do you um, batch dovetails out? So I have, what, nine more drawers to do. How do I do those quickly? And uh, so uh, some tips and tricks on that. The second video for this next week, I'm actually going to be doing on carving my clogs, not actually shaping them. I'm going to get these clogs that were given to me by uh, Rob, um, and I'm going to carve them and detail them and shape them. So that should be kind of fun. Um, a little bit about how comfortable are they, how to make them comfortable, and uh, why I use them as my shop shoes. So that is one that has been requested a lot and should be kind of fun. One thing I have been wanting to do on the shop update is show off some viewer projects. This one is from Brad Kinched. Um, hope I'm saying that right. And he actually made a heart for his wife uh, carved with a Celtic knot. Really, really cool. Um, I, I love how you did this. This is his first carving project. And uh, is inspiration off of a heart that I made for last year's Valentine's Day. Uh, and I really like how it came out. And it's just a good way to show you you don't have to have a lot of skills to do something that, well, literally comes from the heart. This week's Patreon question of the week comes from Garnet Henderson. He asked, what did you do before woodworking? Um, well, the same thing I'm doing now. I'm actually a stay-at-home dad. That is my profession. Um, I am. Uh, I, I take care of my kids while my wife works and brings home the majority of the income. Um, but before that, I was in theater. Um, I had several self, uh, several uh, personal jobs where I did uh, all sorts of different things. I had a uh, actually a diaper business when we first had kids, where I washed other people's cloth diapers. Um, yeah, that was kind of interesting. Uh, but most of my uh, most of my work before that was in uh, theater. I did technical work. I did uh, construction. I ran a crew that did the welding for um, sets. Um, my master's is in technical theater, so the, the lighting, the sound, the set construction, um, that is what I am trained in. Uh, before that, I was in construction, and I actually started my first job in construction when I was six years old. So uh, <laughs> my background goes a little ways back. Um, but uh, yeah, so a little bit of everything. And uh, I'm still a stay-at-home dad. That is my profession. That is the re reason I have the, the shop and one of the big reasons why I am a hand tool woodworker. Uh, there may come a point in the future where this becomes a profession, but uh, until then, um, I like just having fun and putting videos out for you guys. 
The shout out of the week is a little bit self-serving this week because I'm actually going to shout out to my daughter. Um, a couple weeks ago, she came up to me and said, Daddy, I really want to make my own video. And I said, okay, well, where do you want to put the video? And she said, the same place you put them on YouTube. And so she actually wants to start doing her own videos woodworking. And so she shoots them, um, she edits them, she picks out what is in them and what she is making, and it is completely her channel. And she responds to questions. Uh, well, she doesn't really respond to questions, but she does respond to comments. So anytime someone says, you know, that was really good, she says, you're really nice. And I, I, it's just kind of fun to have my daughter in the shop and think that she is putting the same, um, the, the same love into something that I love. And that is just it's wonderful. And this world really needs a lot more uh, female woodworkers. There just really aren't a lot out there. And uh, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, that she enjoys it and will continue it on. So definitely go take a look at her channel and give her some encouragement. I know she would enjoy it. So that's about it for this week. Uh, definitely go check out Chop with Chris and the other things that are going on. He's actually going to have a couple of videos coming out that we, uh, we did here. So his channel is one of my favorites and uh, one you should really check out. If you did like this video, please hit like and go ahead and smash that subscribe button. I want to say a thank you to the patrons on Patreon. You guys are the reason this channel is running today. If you'd like to go there and help out with that, you can find out more right over here. If you did like the video, feel free to check out one of my others. You might find something you like there. And until next time, have a wonderful day.